ओके आई एम डॉक्टर मनिरुल इस्लाम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी अलीगढ़ द माय द टाइटल ऑफ माय टॉपिक इज सॉल्यूशन ऑफ एल्जेब्राइक एंड ट्रांसिडेंटल इक्वेशंस दिस आर द आउटलाइन दैट मींस फर्स्ट वन why we give this talk and what is the motivation behind this talk and then approximate method and basic result and bisection method and example the in scientific and engineering studies a frequently occurring problem is to find uh, the root of this equ uh, equation of this type this type of we have to solve this type of equation uh, to get the root but when we have this f of x is quadratic cubic or biquadratic then the and then the algebraic formula are available for expressing the root in terms of their coefficient but the problem occur when f of x is polynomial of higher degree or the expression involving transcendental function that means sin x cos x or exponential or logarithmic function and or the equation does not have exact solution in that case this means we can see here f of x is equal to 4 to the power x sin x minus 1 in this case the algebraic formula are not available so we have to find use the another uh, method the or the or to find the approximate method uh, to fi to find the root by getting using approximate method so these are the basic approximate method first one is bisection method second is regular falsi method third one is iterative method and and newton raphson method in this talk i consider only bisection method before i go to the method i just uh, want to mention uh, a basic result that is if f of x is continuous in an interval ab here we can see if f of x is continuous in an interval ab and f of a and f of b are of opposite sign here we can easily see in that uh, f of a is negative and f of b is positive then this graph of the function cut at least one point of the x axis that means we get we can find at least one root between a and b now apply this by the repeated application of this result we derive the bisection method here you can see the we, for bisection method we have to take a continuous function f of x and then find two real number a and b such that f of a and f of b are of opposite sign that means one is positive the other one is negative if uh, fa positive then fb is negative then then we have to find x1 then set x1 that is the uh, bisection of a and b that means a plus b by 2 if x1 is equal to 0 then x1 is the required root of the equation f of x if x1 and the method is terminated here if x1 is different from 0 that means we have to proceed 3a 3b So if f a and x one f of x one are of opposite sign, then the roots lie by the previous result. Root lies between a and x one, and then we have to apply the and if the if f of a and f of f of f of a and f of x one are of opposite opposite sign greater than zero, then the root lies between x one and b. Here we can see easily. A is this point and B is this to f of A. This is f of A. f of A is less than zero, and f of B is greater than zero. Therefore, by theorem A, uh, the roots lie between A and B. Then we can uh, we uh, set A plus B by two is here. Suppose x one. So clearly, since this f of x one is positive and f of A is negative, therefore root lies between A and x one. Similarly. and uh, after second bisection we get x2 x2 is negative therefore the root lies between f of x2 is negative that's why the roots lies between x1 and x2 and uh, similarly uh, after the third and fourth and so on in the bisection we get the root here so uh, for example find a root correct to the three decimal places lying between 0 and 5 they here a and b is given of this equation so f of f of a is negative and f of b is positive that's why the root by theorem a the roots lies between 0 and 0.5 so take first 
uh, bisection that means 0.25 now if f of 0.25 is negative that means the roots lies between 0.25 and 0.5 and similarly proceed in this way we get the uh, approximate root that is point here we can say after ninth approximation nine approximate at nine approximation the roots is 0 0.370 and 10th approximation the roots is 0 0.370 and 11th similar 3.70 up to three decimal places we can the roots become repeated so therefore the required root is 0 0.370 correct to the three decimal places thank you